Fall has arrived and I'm sure you're looking for something spooky to get into the Halloween spirit. Be sure to check out the City of Halloween for the best Halloween decorations and all things spooky. Never heard of the City of Halloween? Well, be sure to stick around so you can find out where to go to get into the holiday spirit. Hey everyone and welcome. My name is Olivia Laskowski. I'm a local realtor here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with Remax Southern Shores. If you're on my channel here and searching for real estate in the Grand Steering area, you've come to the right place. I like to post content so you can become an educated buyer about the areas here along the Grand Strand. If that's something that you're interested in, I ask that you please subscribe. That way you can always see my fresh weekly content. And I get calls and emails from folks just like yourself every week looking to move to the Myrtle Beach area. So whether you're six weeks out or six months out, be sure to reach out. There is a link below in the description so you can get a hold of me and we can discuss your needs here along the Grand Strand. So you're curious, where is the city of Halloween? Well, here is a fun little hint. It's home of the haunts. It's kind of like a little pun on home of the shots for the Chanticleers for Conway, South Carolina. So in the month of October, they changed their name from Conway to the city of Halloween and they completely deck out the town in all things spooky. So you'll find pumpkins hanging from the trees, a skeleton alley, there's a witch's avenue, all sorts of things to really get in that Halloween spirit. So do yourself a favor, book a date night, come to downtown Conway and see for yourself why everybody loves the area during the month of October. Each year, the decorations get bigger and better as Conway goes all out for their spooky season. They start off the month of October with their annual kickoff party on the first of the month. It features a costume parade and live music on the lawn. Everything is always kid-friendly here in Conway, so be sure to bring the whole family. All around Conway, you'll find pumpkins and trees, and as you come over the main bridge into downtown Conway, it'll immediately grab your attention. So make sure you really explore all the areas as there's little alleys with different spooky setups. Of course, our Remax office window is ready for the occasion with its seasonal window paint. As we walk down 3rd Avenue, we'll make our way towards City Hall, so be sure to stay aware of possible scares along the way. The Downtown Alliance hosts ghost walks throughout the month of October in the evenings down at the Riverwalk. Underneath the main stairs here at City Hall, there are going to be two awesome displays played out to look like skeletons inside the jail cells. The Witch's Garden is just around the corner from City Hall. If you come at night, they have fog machines running in the fountain, which makes a really cool foggy effect with all the witch hats suspending from up above. Every Friday night in October, they host a Friday movie night on the lawn. They have a movie projector and you can bring chairs, food and drinks and just enjoy the festive movie that is playing. They typically release a calendar each year of the events, so you can be sure to plan your month accordingly. Homecoming for Coastal Carolina University always falls in the month of October. During homecoming week, you'll see extra bits of teal on display as they gear up for their big game. There is always a Halloween and homecoming golf cart parade that takes place the Saturday of the homecoming game. Around 9.30 a.m., the parade begins and you'll be able to see the coolest decked out golf carts as they parade around the streets of downtown Conway. This is a really big event for the folks here in Conway and many residents and businesses really go all out with their decorations. So if you can make it, I always highly recommend it. Along with all the fun skeletons that are randomly placed on the benches throughout the downtown, there is the Skeleton Alley with over 12 foot skeletons. It's a huge hit for many kids. This year they're also hosting a Halloween Hustle with a 5k and 10k option for those of you who are into fitness and running. The local theater is having some awesome Halloween shows on specific weeks. If you're looking for a date night idea with a dinner and a show, be sure to check it out. 
and there are also many local area churches and businesses collaborating to host different trunk or treat events. So if you're looking for a family friendly trick or treating event, be sure to keep an eye out for those. Be sure to head all the way to the marina and the waterfront where there is going to be more to see. They have a haunted pirate ship that's in the water that is pretty spooky in the nighttime and also near the main bridge where they host the Saturday farmer's markets. You'll also find a ton of ghosts that you can go and wander through. With so much to see in the downtown area, I highly recommend making a night of it and supporting many of these local restaurants. Palmetto Taps recently opened if you're a fan of beer and for the month of October they are allowing an open container law within a certain area of downtown. So be sure to grab a bite to eat, grab a drink, and walk around and be sure to support local here in downtown Conway. So did you enjoy the Conway area as much as I did? I know video isn't quite the same as seeing it in person, so if you're in town or have plans to visit anytime this month, be sure to come to Conway and check it out. Even if you're not coming this month, they always do a fantastic Christmas display too. If you're into the holiday spirit during December, be sure to check it out. Just wanted to show you another part of why the Grand Strand is a great place to live. If you have any questions about Conway real estate or anything here in the Myrtle Beach area, be sure to reach out. I would love to hear from you. Also, please be sure that you subscribed if you haven't already. And also, if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you all next week in our next video. We'll see ya.